my style has definitely elevated the one day that i don't have to explain myself to anybody i don't know what i did but i did something the flavors is just like it, it's it's a party in your mouth okay <laughs> you live and you learn no heat Good morning buenos dias my beautiful beautiful people so welcome back to another vlog i am loving how my editing is like coming together and the different things that i'm trying and actually learning more about how to use final cut because i paid for final cut like maybe four or five years ago and i just never really learned or educated myself on it so now i'm like having a lot more fun with it I also got a membership with uh, Epidemic Sounds, so the song options is just, well, the music option is just an immense, like, library. So I'm so, so excited to be able to just have fun editing my content. Obviously, you know, it's my favorite part about it july is literally around the corner today is june 30th uh start no june 29th and tomorrow's the 30th which is the last day of the month and then july 1st starts on saturday so that means that for me i'm gonna be getting into a lot of prepping and getting ready to welcome in my birthday which i mentioned in my last video that i want to do a staycation and i am still thinking about doing that i just i want to be smart with my money and where i'm spending it at so right now what i'm really focusing on is trying to get an outfit together i have been doing my little shopping on here this morning well ever since yesterday actually i've been just shopping around stores and with that i've also noticed that my style i mean i haven't shopped in forever right so my intention when i'm shopping is that i want to buy items that i can re-wear again i'm not just a type of person that i would just buy something wear for one day and don't wear ever ever again i don't think i'll ever be that type of person unless it's like a dress that i buy for a specific occasion like i have dresses that i've bought for my birthday my 21st birthday dress i've never worn again i still have it I have my dress for my 24th birthday and just like things like that but those are beautiful pieces that I don't want to get rid of and they're pieces that I can potentially give to my kids one day because they're really good quality so that's pretty much my focus like just buying really good quality items that i can re-wear over and over again regardless of the season that we're in in regards to fashion like linen never goes out of style right so summertime wearing linen anywhere you are it's like perfect while shopping i've noticed that my style has definitely elevated like i rather a more minimalistic but sophisticated style even though that's currently not what i embody but it's definitely where i want to go and lean towards so my choices of stores are really like intentional zara is one store i mean i've worked at zara for two years no i worked at zara for a year uh in the past and i always loved their clothes so i feel like zara is like a staple store for me uh which is more on the affordable side h&m also has really great pieces which actually just came up on my google search when I'm like looking for items. So H&M and Zara will always be a go-to. I'm also shopping at <clears throat> a couple other like high-end stores like Aritzia. I used to shop at Aritzia. Well, I shopped at Aritzia once and that was for my 18th birthday. And I really loved that outfit and it was like really casual and just like, I've always been more of a casual, low-key, not too loud 
kind of person like in my style and just in everything so i just want to embody that this upcoming year and moving forward like i just want it to be what i'm about so just working on getting that you know outfit together and seeing what i can find obviously i don't want to spend an immense amount of money so i'm like dibbling and dabbling between stores and also asos like asos is another staple um site for me i've always shopped at asos and they have really great quality items as well so that's also one of my go-to's yeah i'm excited to like put up put together at least like one or two outfits because in my mind i will be in the city for at least two full days so on thursday i requested to have it off so thursday i think i want to do like a little museum date i don't know and all of these things i am also doing by myself i just want to like i i want to enjoy my birthday by myself because since i can remember i've always kind of forced doing my birthday with other people or like just having a dinner and just the stress that comes along with like inviting people and at the same time i just want to enjoy the time by myself like it's not even an excuse of like wanting to be or not be with people i just i need time for myself and i feel like my birthday is the one day that i don't have to explain myself to anybody as to what i do or don't want to do so i just want to like go with the flow enjoy myself have my fun and just have like a relaxing birthday like that that's all that i really want so all of july is basically gonna be me preparing for the day of so within a couple of weeks i am going to be doing like my deep cleaning in my apartment every year before my birthday comes in i like to deep clean and make sure that you know any nook and cranny that i don't touch on a regular basis is clean this weekend I want to braid my hair I did the knotless braids once before and I filmed that on my channel as well I now know exactly what I need and how to do things so I really want to do that this weekend I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store between either today or tomorrow because I'm anticipating that it will take me at least two days to fully braid my hair depending on the time that I start Last time it took me like 16 hours. So I was saying like maybe the next day um, So I'm interested and intrigued to see how long it will take me this time around Now that I kind of have the technique down or at least I hope that I do I want to braid them now because I want them to last at least two weeks and two weeks is perfect because it's right before my birthday i can take them out or decide to leave them depending on how they look but i do want to go to the beauty supply and buy the hair i have shine and jam but i think i may need more so i'm just gonna buy an extra one just in case and I also need a couple of new bonnets so I'm just excited for my birthday month in general I want to have the most calm and rewarding birthday in whatever sense that means to me so this is the first time in a long time that I wash my hair with not hot water like it wasn't like ice cold but it wasn't like hot it was closer to cold than hot and honestly the way that my hair looks i might have to switch my methods and do what i gotta do to wash this hair with that same temperature or colder because it's looking really hydrated and just delicious like right now i have moisturizing mask that i put in so my hair can like dry with it on just for some extra moisture but even before applying this like my hair was looking so good so i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i used to do my wash routine today so because i had 
two weeks i believe two weeks has it been two weeks in a couple of days i'll have two weeks um because i last last washed my hair on juneteenth actually so i use this afro g shampoo it is words are gone so sorry about that but this is the shampoo for damaged hair obviously my hair is not damaged but i really love this for like a deep clarifying feeling if you wash your hair really thoroughly you know that squeaky clean feeling that you get this is the one so i love that it cleanses really gently restores shine helps strengthen hair and also normalizes ph so i've been using a lot of products these past couple of months and i haven't really clarified my hair so this was a go-to for me and it's really thick it's a thick shampoo so a little bit definitely goes a long way like even for me sometimes i forget how concentrated this shampoo is and i just like go overboard but it does really dry out your hair a lot so i did use my restore and repair as i am jamaican black castor oil conditioner which i have shown on the channel before here as well this just softens my hair like butter every time so of course i had to go back and use that i'm actually running out like i might not even have enough to really detangle my hair next time i go to use it like i literally have it upside down so i use from the same as i am line restore and repair this is the moisturizing mask and it looks like this after that my hair was just feeling amazing and that's when i saw the results after i got out the shower i'm like wow like it does it didn't look like frizzy how it usually does up here because of the hot water it just it just looked great looked beautiful just now what i applied was the matrix total result results a curl can dream moisturizing cream so this is what this one looks like i have also shown this on my channel before so i really like how it honestly makes my hair feel really soft when it's dry and that's exactly what i need for tomorrow since that's when i'm going to braid my hair so right now i am about to go make dinner because it's now six o'clock so i'm about to make dinner so i'm just gonna throw this shirt on my head i don't know how i'm gonna do this because i've never done this before um okay i don't know what i did but i did something i just hope it stays tucked in here time for a little haul so Overall, I spent $55 and everything was either $5.99 or... So the hair was $5.50, everything else was $5.99. I got three bonnets. Two of them are the same and one is for braids. So this is the dual-sided fabric silky padded... Con oh, is this conditioning? sworn this said for braids I mean it looks long so that's all I care about um, so I got this one for when I braid my hair instead of having to keep it like in the bonnet like uncomfortably because I've done that before and it's like the bonnet kind of falls off sometimes and then I got the Super Jumbo Assorted Reversible Hair Caps for bigger and longer hairstyles. So as you guys have seen, my hair gets really, really big. And I really love when it's really big. But when I put the bonnet on, I feel like it just condenses my hair. And it, it's never as fluffy as I want it to be. So I just got these two. They're reversible. So it's kind of like I have four bonnets in one, you know what I mean? So I got two of these because it was time to retire my previous bonnets and get some new ones. And then for the hair, I got five packs 
of these. Uh, this is the pre-stretched expression hair. And I got it in the color 1B. Yeah. This is the color 1B. And it comes with three bundles. So I got five. I can't remember how many packs I used last time I braided my hair. And I tried re-watching the video to see if I mentioned how many packs I used. But I was just like scrolling through and I couldn't really find the area where I mentioned it if I did. So I just bought five. Hopefully this is enough because if we're being honest, I don't want to walk back there. Like the heat was intense and they close at a time when the sun is just recently setting like they close at 8 and the sun really goes down like at 8 40 ish so i'm excited i'm excited to braid my hair again because i've noticed that i've been doing braids on my hair consecutively for like three or four years now like every summer i do it at least like once sometimes i do it for my birthday other times i did it because i was traveling other times I did it just because, like I am doing it now. But I just love having like a different style. I feel like a whole different person. But I just wanna show you guys this one snack that I was actually put onto. And like it literally just changed the way that I like to enjoy my pineapples because the flavors is just like it, it's it's a party in your mouth okay <laughs> so that's what i'm about to do i'm just rolling out my lime because you do need a lime for this and you also need tahine now maybe i was just late to the game i never knew that this was a concoction but if you don't know about it then i'm telling you about it it's been about a couple months actually since I've known, like towards the end of the year. So, pineapples, these are extremely, extremely sweet. I have never tried this concoction with a bitter pineapple. Um, it might be the same, just might not have to use the lime because it's already kind of bitter. But because this pineapple is really sweet. I'm going to throw in half a lime and then I'm going to top it off with some tahine. So I, the tahine that I have is low sodium. That's why it has like that baby blue cap. But you can use regular tahine or whatever it is that you want. Lime. You know, get the full experience virtually i didn't even call her and she over here being nosy miss s-i-r-i -I. i'm gonna cover it just so i can mix it around and make sure that everything is nicely coated Let's try it. Oh my god, I'm so like my mouth is water right now. I'm gonna try this small piece. You see how juicy that looks? I just got the chills. Oh my god. Mmm. This undefeated. We're making some progress. Um, I have the same shirt on from yesterday because I don't care. But this is the progress so far. And to be honest, they look so good. Way better than 
they did my first attempt or should i say my second attempt because my first attempt was really like a mess so this is basically my third attempt and i really really love them like how they're turning out and the ends are a lot better and they're not getting um becoming undone because last time i would finish the braid and it would like get undone so i figured to just put more of the shining jam on the ends to hold them until i'm able to like obviously boil the hair at the end of the entire braiding process but i started braiding around one o'clock i've been watching um well i was watching one movie and then i started watching suits so i'm like on episode 13 and i started at episode two well technically episode three because two was almost done and i'm at episode 13 now and it's 11 p.m now and i'm just now eating for the second time today because i'm literally shaking of how hungry i am my back hurts from sitting on that um bar stool <sighs> and it's cold in my apartment but it's better this way because i was sweating earlier so but i'll probably turn my ac off for a little bit but i love i love 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 how they're coming out and they're actually so uniformed compared to last time and the parting is just that much better so that's why i'm not even rushing it's a lot of hair left to braid and i'm definitely not finishing today so tomorrow i'll have to finish the entire braiding process but it's looking so good like I, my voice keeps cracking <coughs> but it's looking so good and this is like all my baby hair right here and another thing is that they don't feel heavy that was my one thing that i didn't want to happen because the last time that i braided my hair like just this had me like my neck hurting or like whatever so even like picking them up they don't feel heavy at all so that's how I know that I'm using a lot less hair and being a lot more uh, I don't even know what the term is considering that I don't really do much to my hair at all I've become really really tender headed and my scalp is definitely hurting a lot right now so I'm just gonna braid this portion right here and then i'm gonna go to bed because my back also feels like really tense and i do want to go to sleep here's the hair i have three left what i'm going to do is basically unpack one entire one on the rack so if you didn't watch my last video when i um braided my hair you're new here i bought this from amazon and this is like for yarn but it works really really well for your hair so i'm gonna split my hair onto the rack and um, continue the braiding process also what i didn't show yesterday was the shine and charm i'm using this one i love how this one smells and it's also the extra hold one so it gives you the max hold what i like about this is that it's not flaky and it actually softens your hair and it doesn't feel like really hard or whatever so this one was actually brand new um when i started today and this is how much i have left just because i don't straighten my hair i'm not like i don't have any reason to like apply heat to my hair and on top of that i've never blow dried my own hair and i'm not about to start and you know burn my hair off so although that is a little drastic for me to say but considering that i've never done it i don't want to go and do something and you know just mess up my hair especially because i haven't applied heat to my hair in a little bit over a year last time i did was back in 
either April or May, sometime around there of last year. So at the beauty supply, I did get another shine and jam. So I am good to go for tomorrow. So this is how it comes. Uh, nice and loaded up top. And yeah, so I have used quite a bit today. Like this jar is literally almost done. But I'm not stingy with my product. I'm not like, I just want the best for my hair. And if that means I have to apply a little bit more than normal or than what's recommended, then I will do that. my pimple um this little guy just made an appearance i noticed it today when i was washing my face and i think that it really came out because i ate a lot of cheese this weekend so i mean just one tiny pimple though and i put some tea tree oil all over my face just in case another pimple wants to come out because we're not having it it's my birthday month and you know i'm trying to look cute or whatever and speaking of cute i finished my hair i actually finished today at like 9 30 ish it is 10 34 right now i clearly just got out the shower i'm ready to get in bed and honestly just go to sleep last night i stopped braiding my hair like around 12 ish and as soon as I threw myself in bed, like I literally just like knocked out. Like, you know when you throw yourself in bed and your body just like lets go and you just sink into your mattress? That's literally what happened to me last night. And I was literally like out like a light. So today I woke up early. I watched my little Sunday service. And while I was doing that, I kept braiding my hair and to be honest this time around this is my third time well second successful attempt but my third time braiding my hair and this time it just looks so much better than what I initially have done or what I've previously done and to be honest like I'm in love with it like it just looks so good I obviously have it up because I was in the shower having it like this on the bun is like so heavy like it's literally like like if i let my my neck go <laughs> it just like goes back but i obviously wanted to come on here and show you guys the results so i'm gonna take this scarf off because it's wet anyways from my shower so and my hair is kind of wet too I got wet a little bit I should have put a shower cap on it not gonna lie that would have been a really smart idea but I didn't You live and you learn. This is my hair. 
oh my god i'm so obsessed like it's crazy wait you guys have to see like the length like hello i'm literally like on my tippy toes like i put it down a little bit more It looks so good. And I did have to cut it a little bit because the hair, like it's up to here right now, but before it was literally hitting like at my knee crease right here, like in the back of my leg. And I was like, oh no, that is, way too long i cannot do that so i just ended up cutting it and honestly it looks perfect and i just i am just obsessed like anytime i do my braids i'm just like obsessed each time but this time is just like 10 times even more obsessed because they came out so uniform like i don't have braids that are like bigger than other ones like they're pretty equal in size but yeah they just look so good and this is what the top of my head is looking like so i got lazy like once i got to the crown of my head I didn't want to keep braiding anymore like I was already tired so I just ended up doing just four large braids and then the rest of them have that like boxy look so this is what the back is looking like yeah i really really love how they came out so i had the hair left over that's the one of the things that i wanted to mention i have a an entire pack of hair and then on my rack i have this hair left over which i'm gonna put away but i just put it to the side because i honestly don't want to deal with it right now so i'll probably put that away tomorrow so to top off my braids i used literally the same products that i used last time that i made this video this is the camille rose by honey mousse this is what i used to seal the hair and again i didn't apply any heat whatsoever no heat okay no heat so I braided it, combed it out with my brush to make sure I didn't have like any like tangles or anything. Obviously, I had also my rat tail comb to help me do my parts. I had my hair clips. And then of course, the shine and jam. I used this uh, banana one. And I literally went through two entire ones like this is the second one and it's completely empty because i wanted to make sure that my roots work down completely i didn't want anything you know getting out of place sooner than it needs to be and then my edges i didn't do anything to them they're just chilling right now Whenever I decide that I'm going out or whatever, then I'll go ahead and like lay them down. But for right now, they are going to stay exactly as they are. So, yeah, that's my hair. I'm like so obsessed with it. It did take me a long time, but so worth it. I was talking to my mom while I was braiding my hair and she's like, well, 
when you come here, you're going to have to braid my hair. And I'm like, you're going to have to pay me $100. Just $100. Like, it's not even, I'm not even asking for a lot. Like, nowadays, braiders are asking for a lot more than $100. So, yeah. But anyway, this is the end of this video. I literally did not do anything this weekend other than this hair i literally didn't even like cook anything today was the first time that i actually put a pot of rice just so i could eat something different because i've been kind of like just eating the same meals over and over but yeah oh i had mentioned that i got oh my god my camera's dying how i got this like cap for my braids my braids fit but the problem is that this velcro it has a velcro right here and this will literally like snag my hair and i was like yeah no i do not like that so i'm not using this instead i'm just using my bigger bonnet which is the one that i showed in the hall earlier in this video so i'm just using